Well, Mimi and Jake, parents we spoke to say they were alerted around January 6th, and then there was a Board of Education meeting on January 12th, which they were invited to to learn more about. And as of last night and through the end of this week, the district is hosting uh, community engagement, listening sessions, and open houses at the seven schools that are being considered. And three of those will be chosen for the consolidation plan. We're here at Eastgate Elementary School. It's just one of the seven schools being considered. These Eastgate Elementary kids have a lot of learning ahead of them, but what they've already learned is they love their school. I think they raised um, $275. $275 raised at a bake sale in hopes of saving their school. Other students writing letters asking to keep their school. Eastgate is one of seven elementary schools the Bellevue School District has on a list. Three of them will be shut down and consolidated before the next school year. And the timeline just does not feel appropriate given the gravity of what we're talking about. We're uprooting hundreds of children and these children are the ones who just went through a pandemic. Nicole Holly, second grader and soon to be kindergartner, will find out if they're switching schools in a few weeks. We want to make sure that before any decision is made that we have really and truly had enough time and the legwork has been done. The Bellevue School District is holding staff engagement sessions and family open houses at potentially impacted schools. Right now, BSD reports a population of 18,455 enrolled students. The district reports a loss of more than 1,800 students in the past four to five years, but the decline started before the pandemic, according to the district. Holly worries about her kids losing their neighborhood school. She worries more for families she knows do not have cars, those in need of school meals. If it's not walking accessible, you are putting some families in a very difficult situation. It feels like some communities matter a little bit more than others and that some communities are okay to disrupt. Yeah, so concerns for other families as well. Uh, Nicole was mentioning that just there. And this is a four page letter from the seven parent teacher associations from all of the elementary schools outlining their concerns. A lot of it transparency, how quickly all of this happening and also their concerns for families that don't have resources. As Nicole mentioned, they're just hoping that uh, all of the schools and all of the students concerns are looked at carefully. Of course, this is a difficult decision for the district to make. Uh, parents told me that they were told about February 9th is when they should expect that decision to be made on which three schools could be shut down and consolidated. Live in Bellevue, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News. What a frustrating and unsettling feeling it seems to be for these parents. I know that at our school, two families are involved in all kinds of things. Have the parents there in Bellevue been notified of any program changes or what's next? Uh, well, the district told me that as of right now, they are keeping 100% of all the programs as a part of this potential consolidation plan. They say they aren't cutting any programs, and in fact, they could be adding some. So that is some good news out of all of this uh, concerning batch of news that parents are receiving. So as of right now, it looks like programs will stay put as of right now. All right, good news in that department. Thank you, Farah. Also, we reached